Hi everyone, today I'm gonna be assembling my Firefly pendant. Uh, it's the original design I made in this giant pendant. I did a free form uh, circuit for that. You can see it on the back there, kind of hacked together with a coin cell holder and a, a switch. But it actually works, which is pretty fun and cool. Uh, so today I'm doing the smaller version of it. It'll be about this small when it's done. I'm putting in two tiny LEDs. Uh, they're yellow, but you can see that they're not diffused. So I'm gonna be sanding them to uh, diffuse them a little bit, make the light come out a little bit nicer. Uh, I'm soldering them together with two resistors, uh, 220 ohm for those. And I'm gonna be putting it on an Adafruit switch and battery board that looks like this. So that already has an on off switch and it has the pins for both the switch, ground and power. So that'll make it really easy. It won't be nearly as hacked together as this one is and should be straightforward to get soldered together. So I'm gonna start working on it. Uh, I'm gonna start out by figuring out exactly how to do my circuit on the back of this, and then I'll go from there. You'll notice for these channels, I have a couple little circles engraved on there, and that matches up with the uh, breakout board. I have each of the LEDs running to their own ground, and then I have both of them running to the switch. So that tells me that both of these two should be the positives, and these two are the negative leads for the LEDs. Okay, so I'm switching out my helping hands because they were actually scratching up my wood a little bit more than I wanted. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my soldering block instead. So I was trying to dig out a little bit more space for the resistor so it would set, sit a little bit flatter. This one isn't affecting the circuit board at all, but this one definitely is. Um, I think I'm just going to have to deal with it being a little bit higher than I expected. Um, but all of the wires line up now, so I'm going to go ahead and solder my um, circuit board onto there and uh, try it out and make sure that that circuit works before I finalize the LED design. I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue to seal up some of the circuit board and make sure everything's nice and secure and those LEDs don't move at all once they're completely in place. Okay, I've got all three of those lined up. You can see this first one is really barely in there. I'm gonna try really hard to solder that one. Um, I'm gonna do one of the taller ones first to kind of anchor it, and then I'll do that one. I'm gonna have to cut that down if I'm gonna get that to fit later. I'll focus on this first. three of those 
are soldered on. I'm going to trim them off and then check. Yay, look at that. That is pretty awesome. Okay, so I've secured my LEDs. I am gonna see if I can cut off a little bit of that wood here in order to get this to work. the will work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue my circuit board into place so it has a little bit more strength up here and then I'll use wood glue to attach the backing to it and then I'll diffuse the light bulbs. that wood glue dry for a while. And it's a tiny bit skewed, but that's okay. This is this is really a second prototype that'll help me make the final version that I can make more copies of pretty easily. So there's my back. And now I'm ready to do a little bit of diffusing on those LEDs. In the future, I would do this part first because this doesn't look as easy as I thought it would be. Okay, you can't really tell with the GoPro. Maybe a little bit. You can see how this one is really kind of bleary, but this one is a little bit more contained. That's because of the sanding. So I'll see if I can get a picture of that that does it justice. So I just finished my pendant. You can see the full back of it. Now it's in place. Let's see if it'll focus. There it goes. Okay, now you can see that battery cell holder you can see the pins below. Uh, I did put the backing on so that uh, it kind of conceals and makes a little bit more flush. The batteries and the switch are the only parts that stick out from the back of the pendant, which is really nice. And when I turn it on, it lights up. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It is much smaller and uh, much nicer circuit than my original big prototype. So I'm happy about this and I'm looking forward to doing more laser cut LED jewelry and accessories. So make sure to come back and see what I'm making and, and check it out. So thanks for watching.